Okay, good uh, afternoon everybody, early afternoon. We are doing another set check today. Again, it is cold. It's eight below with a uh, wind chill of about 32 below, I think they said. And it is windy today. It is, I don't know, 20, 25 mile an hour winds out of the north northwest, so. Okay, we're back here at this set again, just giving it a check. And once again, nothing. So we'll just kind of clean this off a little bit again. Watch our fingers. I'll get some fresh, uh, fresh scent to go in there. Um, so that's what we're doing today. We're checking, we're gonna check all our traps. Um, again, since it's so cold, so I'll be very, uh, you know with what i'm what i'm recording and how much i'm recording but i did bring my lucky hat as you can see it is my mountain man fox hat um i've had this for about 20 years is it lucky i don't i don't know it's probably not a lucky hat but i'm just gonna call it my lucky hat so we can uh maybe get some fur today but we'll see so in case you were wondering i actually had this hat made um must have been up, up in Winnipeg. Long time ago. This was a piece of fur that my dad caught. Long, long time ago. I think it was Winnipeg. It was either Winnipeg or it was uh, Duluth at USA Fox and Furs. It was one, one of those two places. So I don't know, you know, what it'd be like now getting fur across the border and all that stuff. So we'd have to see right and we're not really looking for fox anyways but i'm gonna come back i'm gonna spruce that one up a little bit stay with us stay tuned plenty more action to come so we'll go, go to the next set okay guys again just uh freshening up a bit here put a little bit of fresh bait in there not not a whole bunch now at this point in time i guess it's uh, there's there's a bunch of bait in there I got the, the lures, the smells, it's all here. This spot is actually kind of surprising me. Um, sorry if I'm yelling because I got my helmet on because it's, it's cold, right? But this spot is kind of surprising me because it's kind of the same setup as before. You got a little clearing there and that's just thick. Look at everything back here. I mean... This is just some thick jack pine in here. You'd think that the pine martin would come to it. But for whatever reason, nothing yet. But that's trapping. You know, kind of like hunting or fishing, you don't get everything. That's the way it goes. Okay, guys, there's the reset. Freshen it up a bit, got the safeties off. Don't want to make that mistake again. And the next set's the bobcat set, so. Stay tuned for that. We'll see what's going on over there. Okay, guys. Well, I moved the bone collector set. And I'll show you why in a minute here. That side was just, there's no action. There's no activity going on there. There's not even deer using the trail. So I moved it about 100 yards in here to the south. Um, Reset it here. I gotta go ahead and take the safeties off. But here's the kind of reason why. My trail is right here. I'm driving on, right? Like they could come walking down there, do, 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 whatever. Got a main deer trail right here. Goes across here. It's just kind of a nice intersection. Back there where I had it was uh, the the trail was there. There's deer trails there. However, nothing's nothing's been going on them. So if the deer aren't going there, I don't know if the bobcat are going to go there, the fish are going to go there. I, you know, I mean, again, I, uh, I don't know. I know that there's animals moving over here. Maybe something. You know, this is the trail that that coyote came on. That coyote had come on this trail and just was walking all down here. Maybe he comes back, he sticks his head on that. I don't know. Maybe the bobcat comes down here hunting this edge, you know, and it's just thick willows in here. And maybe he'll come here and maybe we'll get him. Maybe we won't. 
I don't know, I know that there's patience, right? We need patience, so we're just trying a few different things here and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. But anyways, bone collector shed has moved. Everything's hanging again. I'm gonna take these safeties off. I'm not gonna forget that. I'm gonna go back to the truck and we're gonna have some coffee to warm up because it's cold. So we're gonna do that, so stick with us guys. Stay tuned. Okay guys, time for a little bit of nice warm coffee. Oops, spilling a little bit too. No, eh, whatever. Um, so yeah, warming up a little bit here. A couple things that I did want to go over, you know, this country with what we're what we're after and why is we don't have links here. There's there's no links around this country, and there's no like Wolverine, nothing like that, right? You got to go to Alaska and um, way up in northern Canada, Northwest Territories, and Alberta, British Columbia, places like that. So, you know, the the Fisher and Bobcat, that's that's kind of it for our main predators that we can trap. There's plenty of timber wolves around here that uh, can't trap those. So Bobcat, uh, Martin, and the Fisher. So that's why we're after, you know, trying to go after a Bobcat like I am. Just kind of show you some of the surroundings again here. You know, this this was an old deer camp too at some point in time. You can see somebody has this all, all fixed up and there's a little fire ring right there. So. There's lots of neat places up here, Lot, uh, up here in the woods. There's just lots of neat places to, to explore. And sorry for the wind today, but it's it, it's a windy one out there. 20 mile an hour, gusting to 25, I think, at times. So we're gonna warm up here. Two more cat checks to set. Two more cat sets to check. That's what I meant to say. And uh, a couple more Fisher, Martin, one, two, three, four, four more of those to check so stay with us for that we're gonna hit those ones up in just a few minutes as soon as I warm up and uh, I do more snowmobile um, showing of the driving on the snowmobile but it's too just darn cold we'll uh, we'll get that at another time and if anybody's wondering the footholds behind my house for coyotes that I had set I did snap those we keep getting an inch of snow and 20 below like every day so I'm gonna let this stop and we're gonna go reset that so we'll see how that goes i am continuing to drive the snowmobile back there though and continuing to make a trail so we'll see if anything comes through stick with us guys stay tuned okay guys i uh can't remember if i've shown this set or not and i don't i don't think i have so this set uh similar situation right like trail there and i just dropped my gopro in the snow but i mean couple massive deer trails coming off of here and these things are really moving through the snow right there to the snowmobile trail but uh you know same thing we're up on a nice ridge here there should be some martin in here there should be some fish here. there should be there should be something here that comes through here now oof, this is a stinky stuff too now whether or not that something does, uh, you know, I don't know. But we're trying. We are trying. I'm gonna put some of this stuff in there. Brushing this all up a little bit. Set the trap back in there. Just uh, take our safeties off. I know I keep mentioning that because I forgot it that time. I forgot it that time and my phone keeps going off. I come up here for peace and quiet and my phone keeps going off. Okay, there's the reset. We got uh, two more of these to check and our cat box. So I'm gonna go down there. Okay guys, another cat set. Another, nothing here, nothing coming out to check the trap out, I guess, or the set out. But uh, the deer have been moving up on my tracks where I uh, have the snowmobile in there. Oh, I got so much cover sensor, it's crazy. Anyways, the deer have really been moving up here on the red. Uh, there was a fox track up here, too. Set safety's off, everything looks good. That should uh, 
I don't know, looks delicious to me if I was a cat. Anyways, up here, there's a fox track back there about a quarter mile. So I got my 120s. Deer have been moving here, and you can just see all these fresh tracks, right? They, the animals are moving up on this ridge. So, obviously we're not after deer, but if there's deer moving here, chances are there's going to be other animals moving here too. So that's kind of our goal. It would have been nice if that fox would have kind of stuck his head in there, but no deal. Anyways, we're going to put this away. Another set down there. One more Martin set after that, and one more cat set. So stay tuned. Never know what's going to happen. Well, guys, just checking all my second to last traps that I got left here, I guess. So. Got us some Martins. So, that's good. That works out well. Nice, uh, nice head catch. Um, came in there looking for the bait. And that's that. So, Pretty happy about that. I didn't show you guys this set yet because I don't know. I, I just don't film everything, right? So again, got them on the ground, and uh, good luck, I guess. So, well, guys, I freshened up my last box here. Um, everything I can do, I'm doing, trying to catch something, hoping something's gonna start moving. Who knows? No, I'm not having problems. The fingers are just cold. So I'm going to get my redneck hand warmers really going here. Get myself warmed up. Get back to the truck. And we're going to head home. So that's it for today's episode. Thanks for tuning in. 